today I've come to one of my favourite woodlands to see what's about. It's springtime, so I want to see if there's wild edibles about, what animals are moving, just to have a nice spring walk. Join me for a day's bushcraft. This section of the woodland is mainly beach. As you can see, the leaves are coming out now. And the leaves in early spring are edible and delicious too. All of the plants coming up here now are called dog's mercury and they're poisonous. It's a good sign of ancient woodland but it's not edible. This section of the woods is completely carpeted with them. Just found some tomatoes that's an excellent description fire. Feels quite dry and rough. And some of it might work. So what I'm going to do is harvest some of this and have a go later and see if it works. It's also great for timber bundles too. Can pull some of it away and see how fibrous it is. Do some harvesting. Looks like there's been quite a few changes since I was last here. The pond was much, much higher up, a lot more water in there, and I don't remember that birch tree being fallen either, so I think that must be fairly recent. I'm going to have a look down there and see what tracks are about. Okay. I was expecting it to be cloudy and overcast all day long. I think a badger's had a go at that, I scraped it out, trying to get in. Care for the snakes around here. Big slots of fallow deer. That's a dog print there as well, which is quite interesting because this section of the wooden is quite out of the way, so it'd be unusual for a dog to be walking around here. This is a brilliant print for the trackers out there. You can see where it's gone in and it's clawed up the mud climbing out of the bank. And that might be dog or badger.
People think you need a massive fire to cook food on, but you don't. You just need hot embers. This is still really, really hot around there. And it's nice that by the time I start eating my food, the fire would have died off. And if you look under here, it's still bubbling away and still cooking away nicely. So you've not lost anything without having any flames. It's nearly done. What I've found here is a fallen birch tree and there's lots of fungi on here as well. And these are birch polypore, Hyptoporus betulinus. And what this tells me is that the tree fell whilst the polypore was on here because it's 
facing this way. Normally when they grow, they'll be growing that way. And even on fallen trees when they grow, they'll grow that way. There's a special term for them in, um, in the fungi world, but I can't remember what it is offhand. But I'll have a look at these ones. When you're collecting birch polypore, there's lots of uses for it. I'll just show you how to take them off. You can just push them. This one looks a bit old. Give a bit of a closer view there. I'll just get it open to have a look and see what's inside. The inside might be okay. It's pretty tough. This is one of the main reasons I came here today. Polyporous squadmosis, or dryad saddle, also known as pheasant's back. This is what bushcraft is all about, being able to thrive in, in the natural environment. I've managed to make fire, find food, I have a bill shelf and be quite happy for a few days here. It's a home from home really. I love it. Thank you.